My name is Lisa and I want to tell you how we are organizing our data to guarantee for reproducibility. I'm doing this video um, because uh, many people have asked me how exactly uh, do you have or do you organize your data so that it's um, reproducible. So I'm going to show you what we have established in our lab. Just as a disclaimer, we work with Unix based systems, so mainly with Linux. So what I'm going to show you here will work for Linux and Mac OS. If you want to follow the same instructions and you have Windows, you might need the Anaconda shell or GUI, or you can use uh, the Windows subsystem for Linux um, and use Debian. And that way you can see what we're doing and how we're working. Is why do we need to organize our data? And it's because anyone, inclusive our own, like our future selves, will need to understand and execute any data analysis that we have done. And they should be able to use it in their computer. That's why um, when using it, it should be possible. The directory structure is understandable, the analysis is as well, you can imagine why were things done. Um, all the code should be executable in the system and um, it should be able to code for uh, our own project. So if you want to use it in the future and you have a piece of code that you saw we use or analysis that we use and can be useful for you, then you should be able to um, understand it and uh, follow and reproduce the data how we do approach the data. Um, in general, this is kind of like an overview. We work with virtual environments for each of our projects and we have a defined structure that we keep across all projects so we all know what exactly and how we are working with our data. Uh, we use Git, um, which is a virtual control system to be able to track any changes that we have done. And we try to apply and keep all the rules and principles for data analysis that are al allowing us to guarantee its reproducibility. Mm, in this series of videos, I want to show you um, what are virtual environments and how to use it. Uh, we use Conda, which is a program that allows us to manage the virtual environments. I will tell you a little bit more about that. Then I want to show you how we organize our directories for reproducibility and what each of these directories contain. And I will show you the local use of a virtual control system called Git. The purpose of the whole thing is to show you our approach and the tools that we use for data management so that you are able to see and keep it in mind for reproducible research and that you can see how you could organize your data. You don't have to be a PI to, or principal investigator to organize your data in the way that we're doing it. You can use it for your thesis. Uh, believe me, um, this way we have done it and um, it has proven extremely helpful when one of the computers of my students did not work and we had to change the whole project into a new computer and we had no problem, no problem whatsoever. So, uh, yeah. Now, every time that you start any in any new project or any new lab, please keep in mind, how do you keep your data organized? What does your data management plan say? If the lab has any, yeah. And if you have any ideas, questions, please write them in the comments. Um, I will be looking at the comments and see how can I uh, include more material or more ideas or details on how we work with certain things. Okay, so see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.